Today's tutorial is how to repair a broken side mirror glass where the side view mirror glass fell off, hopefully landing in one piece. This is a particular problem with heated door mirrors. So stay tuned and let me show you how it's done. Just before we get right down to fixing this glass back onto its base plate, you might be asking, why has my glass fell off my door mirror? Door mirror glass falling off is something that affects heated door mirrors. From an engineering perspective, there are two massive hurdles to overcome to answer the question, why does door mirror glass fall off? The first is the material. Most car door mirror glass is silvered with chromium on the second surface. Chrome is extremely hard and smooth and almost totally unreactive, which is why it's great for a decorative finish that doesn't tarnish. But it also means that very few adhesives adhere well to chrome. Second is heat. The heat pads behind the glass can get up to 70 degrees C and few adhesives work well with this kind of thermal cycling. These and the harsh environment that the glass lives in mean the glue lets go of the glass after about five to seven years or so and the glass becomes loose and then falls off. Enough of me prattling on, as much as I love the engineering of this problem, what you want to know is how to fix this without trading a kidney for a new glass at a dealer. If you were unlucky enough to have your glass land on the floor and break, just buy a plain universal fit glass shaped to your vehicle. They usually come with a sticky pad on the back. Use a razor blade or a Stanley style knife and remove the sticky pad backing. Once you've got as much as you can off, by cutting it off, apply some cellulose thinners to what's left of the glue, give it a few moments and scrape as much of the rest off as you can with, a, with, with the blade again. And then clean the uh, last of the residue off with a cloth uh, with a little uh, thinners so that the back is nice and clean. Remove the mirror backing from the mirror by whatever method is appropriate for your car. There's pro there will probably be some glue residue on this uh, surface so scrape it off with your nail or, or a blunt plastic uh, spatula or something being careful not to damage this uh, black surface remove as much as you can you could even just rub it off with your with your thumb use a bit of meths or alcohol and just clean the surface to make sure that there's no uh, grease residue all the road dirt off and then allow both pieces to dry thoroughly before we apply <clears throat> any kind of adhesive to this. Have a little practice of placing the glass into the frame, making sure that you can get it in in one smooth movement. It might seem simple and obvious, but I've been in this game for 40 years and I can tell you, it's sometimes the simple and obvious things that trip people up and make a right old mess of the job. So don't skip this step. Practice fitting it in to make sure you know how to do it and that you can line it up properly then place your frame and your glass perpendicular to each other on a suitable surface and using a series of strips of good quality masking tape just mask five millimeters or so around the edge of both the frame and the glass don't stick it down too firmly just lightly over the years i have tried a variety of methods to uh, stick these glass back to onto the frame and this method that I'm showing you is by far and away the best method that I have found. I'm very lucky that uh, one of my very good friends in the automotive industry happens to be a subject matter expert on mirrors. He's been doing it for 30 years something like that and I have actually dealt with Magna mirrors in the past who manufacture a whole range of mirrors for many of the uh, European manufacturers and in actual fact this Saab mirror was manufactured by them. Just to be double sure, one final wipe down, make sure you've not put any greasy finger marks on either of these parts. Uh, I have seen on YouTube a video where somebody puts blobs of silicon adhesive around the mirror and then sticks the glass on. I have tried that in the past but I have to tell you it's not as good as this method. When you're choosing your workplace for this Choose somewhere that's at about normal room temperature and condition your glass and your backing plate at normal room temperature for at least a couple of hours as well. 
better still place them in a, a warm environment like your airing cupboard or on top of your boiler for, for an hour just to warm them up. We now need some spray on contact adhesive that can withstand at least 60 degrees centigrade in service, preferably more. The best two products that I've found for this application are 3M Spray 90 and a Tessa product which I cannot remember the number of at the moment but I will link you to them in the uh, description. For the purposes of this demonstration today I'm afraid I haven't got either of those in my garage just now but I have got something called Nemesis uh, which has an e extreme initial bond and on the can claims to be able to withstand up to 100 degrees centigrade. Again I've been very lucky in my career uh, I have dealt with both Tessa and 3M representatives uh, many years ago I was responsible for um, door rubbing strips on Rovers which were stuck on with a 3M product. Start off your spray make sure that it sprays properly and that the uh, spray is full and then simply spray across in the same direction on both. No need to go totally mad but just get a good splash on each surface. Now leave that to dry. Follow the instructions on the can. If this was the 3M product or the Tessa product that I was mentioning then you would leave them for about five to ten minutes. The point behind having the mirror and the backing are perpendicular to each other but spraying across in the same direction is that it means you can spray in one go but when you bring the parts together the glue will actually have a crisscross pattern between the two parts and by doing that you will get a, a better result. Once you've left it to dry for a sufficient period of time use a, a blunt plastic or wooden instrument just to hold the parts down while you remove the masking tape once you're happy that your contact adhesive has dried sufficiently, which usually is when you can put your finger on it and it doesn't try to lift the item off the table, holding the edges very carefully, bring your glass and using the technique you practiced earlier, drop the glass into place in its frame. Apply some thumb pressure all over and especially around the edges. If you feel the need, with a little black or suitable colour of silicon sealer go round the very edge and fill in to waterproof it but if you've chosen a, a good contact adhesive that should be waterproof anyway. If the temperature outside is under 15 degrees then I suggest putting this in a warm place for 24 hours before refitting it to the car. If the temperature is up around 20 degrees centigrade then go ahead and fit it straight to the car. One repaired mirror and all it's cost you is maybe a piece of universal glass if your original broke and a can of contact adhesive maybe around 20 pounds by getting a good contact across the whole surface between the two layers you will get better heat transfer from the heating element to the glass which in turn will uh, heat the glass more evenly and help it to clear quicker if you got value from this video please give it a like down by the title and I will see you next time.